from outside, we went through our own uh, NSF and followed by a 10 year cycle. So I guess it's time for the next generation to go through whatever we have been through, to carry on this cycle and even subsequent to another generation. So it's going to be a long continuation move forward. Graduating from basic military training, 200 recruits march onto the Marina Bay floating platform with their heads held high. They are joined by operationally ready NS men from the 452nd Battalion Singapore Armoured Regiment who are stepping down after completing their NS training cycle. A few hours ago, these recruits were in the midst of completing their 24km route march. When most Singaporeans were still asleep, recruit Marcus Chin and his fellow comrades were on the last leg of their BMT journey. Even though they've just marched 24 kilometers through the night, in their full battle order, they set aside their fatigue as they ready themselves for the first ever integrated parade. We have to change out our dirty clothes and prepare for the parade. Now I have a rehearsal for myself and all the company best. So um, I'm quite excited for the parade itself. The parade commemorates both the graduating batch of recruits from their basic military training and the stepping down of a battalion of operationally ready NS men. Recruit Marcus Chin will be the flag bearer representing all the other recruits in this integrated parade. I was very happy uh, when I knew that I was going to carry the state flag because it's uh, the first time in SAF history and um, I'm going to be the first one doing this. The flag is quite heavy and the whole pole itself is made of solid wood. So I have to get used to the feeling of the flag and the position of the holster on my body. So the rehearsal for me is quite useful. On the actual day, Marcos will receive the state flag from someone very special. It's a very, very rare occasion and I would say it's, I'm very proud to be the, the pioneer batch to actually went, go through this uh, new format of the parade and to make it even more prestigious to be able to be the, uh, the fat bearer to, to pass on to my nephew who is going to be the next generation of uh, soldier to lead Singapore forward. going to be an, another phase of life. We are no longer compulsory to meet once a year. So in a way, we are actually pretty sad because our, our platoon is bonded together very well and we are pretty sad that this is all coming to an end. Like Every parent will feel proud to see their son pass out from a boy to become a man and like they can relax because they know that their child has grown up and can take responsibility for their own self. As they go through the different phases of national service, from BMT to their units and later on to in-camp trainings, one thing that remains constant is the caring support of their families. I'm actually pretty 
occupied with work and I don't have a lot of time to prepare all my uh, the basic needs that I'll need for my ICT and I really rely on my wife to help me to gather all the necessities so she take care of the house everything for me so that I can put my mind at ease when I go back for ICT. It's important to have family support now because um, they, are, they are young people who have not seen the responsibility ahead so going through army uh, we will just advise them, you know, from our past experiences, yeah, what is right and what is wrong. But I think ultimately you must serve uh, your country and in anything you do with a heart. I feel that um, the passing of the flag means that now my generation has to take more responsibilities to defend the nation and um, the older generations are stepping down so we have to step up and keep the standards. Huh?